Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the YouTube video and in today's video, I'm gonna become a coach. Now, a couple of days ago, one of my clan members and valued member of our community, Braham, reached out on Discord and said that he really, really wants advice on how to improve in Bloodstrike. He said that his aim is good, his movement is good, but he is still losing games and he doesn't know what to do anymore. So several members of our community actually tried to help him out. And on top of that, I proposed to him that if he sends his gameplay on a video, I will actually review it personally and I will give him some tips and tricks that he can apply for him to improve. Now, the reason why I decided to make this video as well is because I think a lot of you guys watching this video will actually find a lot of value from this video and from this gameplay so whether you are playing on pc or mobile i'm sure you will find some things useful you will see my perspective and i will give you guys my honest advice on how to improve on certain situations and yeah i really hope you enjoy and let's dive into the video all right it looks like we are dropping in prison braham is dropping in prison we can see that there's two to three thieves with him and he is most likely going to be dropping on the rooftop okay so he decides to drop there it doesn't quite drop on a loot box but he's very very close he gets the scar straight off the bat and he can tell that someone is climbing climbing up on the ladder but he lets that slip he is going to focus more on the right side which is absolutely fine but he will have to hurry up because otherwise he will get backstabbed so he's going to take some shots he does get a knock over here and as you can see someone is already creeping up on him he gets that knock as well that is two kills down he is now going to be finishing off this nova here as well so that is three kills down and now it is very important to very quickly finish off your kills but he doesn't get the chance to as he is already getting shot at by another ethan player now here is where we he really needs to start making work about finishing kills off because otherwise he, it will bite him back in the butt he is trying to finish off kills with his glock now this is something that i would highly discourage especially early game because you will need those bullets to kill other people so early game make sure instead of wasting bullets to you know try out to kill people with melee his weapon is not reloaded he gets lucky reload off and uh, he manages to get that knock off which is very very um insane because uh he was in a very big disadvantage there if that other player right there was a good player then he probably would have died there not gonna lie to you but he does manage to get away with it so that's good for him he is not full hp and at this point he might want to heal up he does have a beetle available but he didn't pop it he's gonna be moving up to the rooftop and he gets caught while moving now we're gonna have a look at the skill cam here because i do think that he is moving in the open for no particular reason if you are on the rooftop you do want to be moving along the walls and along the cover because especially in prison it is very very deadly to just move around on the open field he does get killed here he's gonna be uh dropping back in the map very very soon let's have a look all right braham is back he wants to go to the other building he's gonna do a, a water tower drop nope just kidding he is gonna move on and he does have a deagle on hand he drops into the window through the he drops onto the building through the window and there is someone just sitting there randomly and uh, he's, tr he's trying to get some shots off and this guy's also getting some shots off and this seems to be the battle of the potatoes over here they are both going to be disengaging braham goes back through the wall and i think he's going to be able to uh you know look for some guns let's see if he does find any he can see a loot box he's trying to get through the window oh yeah yeah okay there we go you know, Emma is that thick that she can't get through the window, but it's okay. All right, he does manage to pick up two SMGs. So we have an INP and a Vector. So he's going to try to push this guy, try to finish him off. That is a very dangerous play to do. He does have to reload his gun. Okay, in this situation, once you reload, once you emptied out your Vector magazine, it is very important to swap weapons, which you didn't do here. You decided to reload the Vector. But that's a small detail, but it is a detail that could save your life one day. Okay, he needs to finish off the skill. Uh, but he did see that someone else is here, so he decides to disengage and just drop off. Me, personally, I would have tried to finish off that kill and then get away with it, but uh, that's okay. He is gonna, you know, drop down again. He sees someone else. He's just gonna chase that person. He's gonna hit some nice shots here, and he's gonna get that kill. Again, he's gonna be able to finish this kill pretty safely here. Again, since you don't have that much bullets, I would highly recommend that you actually try to finish your kill by doing it so by melee because you know those are precious munition that you are wasting right there so you know if you're low on ammo always finish your kills with the melee weapon it's not toxic it's sometimes necessary all right he's gonna move around here check if there's any enemies here let's see he has uh, some good weapons now he's gonna pop a uav and on the uav no one is visible so he's in a pretty safe position here 
Alright, so he's moving around, he's moving around, and uh, oh, you can see that he, he saw someone. Now, he actually shot at this person, and this person is instantly gonna get alerted. But, look at where he's standing. He's not quite in a like, safe position, so let's see what he does next. He does get shot at, he gets spotted out, uh, that person is also gonna fire at him. And over here, he's gonna be moving around, and... Okay. This is an interesting choice that Braham makes here, because me personally, I would have gone up on the stairs and tried to pick someone off by going on the stairs he decides to go on the right hand side and down now the reason why i would go to the left hand side and take the stairs is because when someone goes up on the stairs and you are on the top of the stairs you actually have a huge huge advantage point over on them and you can headshot people very very easily so that also means that you can easily pick someone off finish them off and then move around again so that even if there is a second person you can still kill one and then kill the other one after at a later like uh, position or stage. So Braham decides to go down, which is fine, but it's a bit more dangerous because as you can see, like over here, this particular spot in general, you can get shot at by every side. Top, right, left, behind, bottom, top, like, okay, maybe not bottom, but definitely top. Um, so definitely a dangerous position to be in. He's gonna be moving and you can see on the screen sorry you can see on the screen that there is two pair of footsteps now that means that there's two people chasing him and he definitely needs to make a pick he has to because these people are gonna chase him down no matter what so let's see what he does here he realizes that they are on top and one is actually right there on the stairs now this is an interesting fight because as i said before remember what i said the person standing on top of the stairs has an advantage because they have the headshot angle and they can literally beam you down. So, he decides to take this fight, which is, you know, if you're feeling very, very confident, that's an okay thing to do. But he quickly realizes that this is not the play. And also, if you can, if you see where he is standing, let's rewind that back a little bit. Right there. Right there. He is taking the fight. And not only is he getting shot at from the top of the stairs, but there is also still that second person chasing him and he's gonna get shot at from the left side as well so basically you are in a really bad spot versus the first guy but then also the second guy pulls right up on you yep luckily for him he manages to get away here he pops a beetle so he is getting healed while he is running away that's the advantage of being an emma player and these people that he's playing against are really really good because they know exactly where he's going they kind of predicted right so in this case there is two things you can do you can try to take the fight with this guy if you're feeling very very confident and if you think you can one clip this guy the second thing that you can do is is keep running now braham decides to fight this guy and unfortunately for him the fight doesn't go very well here the 1v1 like he doesn't manage to hit that many shots and it's not a clean one clip cl kill so yeah, that is not a great position to be in. But on top of that, he is still being chased by the second guy. So right here, he is literally just in a sandwich. And um, yeah, he just gets finished off. And there's not much you can do. Like in this case, if you are unsure whether you can one clip someone or take the fight, the best thing is to keep on going and put yourself in a position that is more favorable for you. Because you could have definitely, definitely survived this. I mean, you are Emma, you are running and healing at the same time. If you would have just moved past that guy, actually moved past him without taking a fight and going up the stairs and then turn on him at some point, you would have been in such a good spot because the other guy that was also chasing would not be able to keep up. So the key takeaways from this video is that first point is that you need to make sure that if you are engaging in a fight or if you are taking shots at someone, you need to be in a good position where you don't get sandwiched and you don't get shot at by multiple people. You need to make it hard for people to shoot at you while you are shooting at someone else. So in this particular case, you were getting shot at by one guy on the staircase, but also to your side. So be very mindful of where enemies are and how they can shoot at you the second point in this video is that if there are multiple enemies and they are chasing you you need to make sure that you take advantage one way or another what most good players do is is actually when they are getting chased they are going to try to bait people into chasing them and chasing them up into places where they can take an advantage for example if you bait people up on the stairs you can easily pick someone off finish the kill very quickly and then for example drop back down again and juke your enemies you see what I mean? You see what I'm going with this? You need to make 
sure that you can pick someone off and then move to your next target because two people at the same time is a very very hard move to pull off even for very good players all right now we have a second game over here where we are gonna drop into boiler room okay my dude straight off the bat gets an m4 okay the, we have two of his teammates also on the rooftop which is not the best because that also means that there's less loot okay someone literally just dropped on him it's an Ethan player he doesn't spot him straight away but he does get the kill here he is going to be able to finish that off again early game you want to be doing melee attacks to finish off kills in this case there's also someone else so maybe not the best id but he is going to get this kill as well very nice gonna try to nate that off i don't think that's gonna work nope that's definitely gonna bounce back okay that's okay that guy's actually gonna get a self res off so definitely wouldn't have let that guy self res uh but it's okay there's not much you can do he gets the kill over here on this guy very very nice as well some clean region shots not bad brother very very nice instantly gets 6k off the bat which is a lot to start with by the way and he gets a scar still there is footsteps under him so there is definitely someone under now his teammates also realize that and they're all gonna push up on this guy this guy is about to die big time okay they've got him again try to um finish people off with melee attacks early game because you definitely need the ammo he has an mp5 right here yoink he only shot one bullet but he got the kill let's go man that's what we love to see he's got a scar and mp5 right now okay this guy actually drops on his teammates and he actually manages to get that kill off someone else comes through the window somehow i don't know where that guy came from but he gets some nice shots off but again as i said before it is very 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 important that you are not in the open like this because right here you are super super vulnerable you are vulnerable for from left side right side and top side so be very careful about your positioning all right he is uh, gonna move up uh he definitely needs to finish his kills here um or at least someone he puts a beetle on his teammate which is very nice of him there's people fighting to the right side he gets one kill he's gonna get two kills here and there's even more people right here it is absolutely crazy there is a lot of people here and he's getting pushed on he's not full hp but he manages to pull that off gets a nice kill on the zero and uh, he's gonna have to reload and uh, finish these kills here all right someone actually pulled up behind him he does see that misses some shots needs to reload he has a very nice corner here where he can just take cover his teammate does finish that kill for him so that's very very nice and at this point bro you have 9k in the bank 9k you can actually buy a very very nice weapon here so you literally pass the the, the the vending machine so honestly definitely pick up a custom weapon at this stage he's gonna be moving up uh didn't finish all of his kills but that's because there's also a lot of people here there's someone in this building over here gets some nice shots off runs out of ammo for his mp5 and let's see what he does next oh god oh god oh god he's slashing guys he's slashing he got him <laughs> let's go that's a very nice kill okay could have turned out badly but it works out for him so good job he really really needs to get some good loot like you can tell that he has sixteen thousand in the bank you can buy double weapon get full ammo like honestly instead of like trying to look for loot you, just, you should just buy the loot really okay there's another guy here that's still a zero that's a scar kill very very nice he still doesn't have ammo for his mp5 i think i saw an emt to the right that but i don't think he spotted that out does have a lot of kills like nine kills straight off the bat in the beginning of the game that's kind of crazy someone is on the stairs over here he's gonna try to beam him He's moving around, moving around, sliding, trying to reload, trying to shoot. And this guy is absolutely panicking. Okay, let's see what he does next. Okay, he's going to throw down a molly, which is very, very good. That's good use of utility. And he's going to go through the window and get try to get the skill off. He gets the skill off, and he's very lucky that that grenade didn't pop off. Because otherwise, that could have turned into a bad fight. But he does get it off. All right, he gets shot from behind. Damn, that was a very nice, clean and clean kill like good headshots he's gonna be moving around he's gonna put a drone on himself so he can heal while moving very good very good use of abilities he's gonna pop a uav and as you can see there is definitely still people around here he's gonna move through the tents as i said many many times before this area of the tents is very very dangerous because you can get shot through the tents this is the only kind of like place where you can get wall banged by the way so uh, be very very careful when you move around tents and you think you're safe because you're not really safe someone is actually dropping right on him and he's gonna get that kill so uh, very nice okay so he's got a lot of kills here again doing a uav scan which is great but also bro you really have to buy weapons man 
Okay, there is someone uh, down on the low ground. It's a Ren. She's going to be running around, putting a wall. She is running for her life and doesn't have shield anymore, so he's going to chase that. He's definitely going to chase that and uh, he wants to take the fight here. Doesn't hit the shots that he needs to. That Ren actually has a shotgun and is super, super dangerous. Graham gets knocked here and then we have a teammate. Bro, what is the teammate doing, bro? He is slashing the air. He is slashing the air. Okay, Braham is pulling off a self res over here, so let's see if he gets it off. He does get it off, and he decides to just finish off the kill, which, you know, thank God, because his teammate is a freaking potato slashing air. Oh my God. At this point, you gotta get a custom loadout, bro. You have to. Okay, I know I said it like three or four times already, but it is so, so important. Like, a custom loadout is literally the difference between an MP5 having 30 bullets or 50 bullets. That's an extra 20 bullets. Like, that is literally almost like double the amount so you would have to reload way less and also you can buy ammo so you can just have 300 smg ammo instead of struggling all right braham spots someone else out that someone is pushing didn't quite expect him he is running for his life but braham is not gonna let him go oh man he got away with one hp where did he go where did he go okay braham is looking for him he's looking if he crossed the bridge which he didn't and uh he definitely spots him out there he's right in the corner you could see a little gray dot over there, so he got that kill. Very nice. Again, almost 40,000 gold. Still no weapon bot. Oh my god, I'm gonna go crazy, bro. Bro, you next time you think you, you, you play, you're gonna think about me, bro. You're gonna think about me and you're gonna be like, oh god, I got this much cash. Lights is gonna be proud of me if I buy a weapon now, you know? <laughs> Alright, he has 14 kills. He's absolutely popping off this game, so that is definitely not a bad thing. Alright, he is uh, gonna shoot at this guy and unfortunately... He takes a lot of damage here. Okay, I'm going to rewind that back for a second just to show you what went wrong here. All right, so Braham is coming in, right? And you can see he instantly spots the guy and he decides to fire at him. But look at where the enemy is and look at where he's standing. Basically, he is shooting at the enemy and he's pretty much standing right in the open. So, you know, the enemy spots him out after he shot at him and literally just turned around and absolutely beamed him because he doesn't have cover. So when you see someone running like that, make sure that you are close around a wall or a corner that in case that he does turn around, you can kind of like slide backwards and avoid some of the bullets that he's shooting at you. Or slide forward in, in the building. That could also be a possibility, either forward or backwards. But like in here, you're kind of in the middle and there's no way you can get to any kind of cover. Also, this guy has really, really good aim. Um, you can tell that it is, um, I think, Scar versus P90. The enemy has a P90 here. So, yeah, be very, very careful with P90s because those things really, really beam, especially up close. It's no joke, guys. I have a little replay of the ca cam over here. Yeah, that guy literally, like... The enemy actually emptied half of their magazine. They slide it, and then they emptied out the other half. So, that is very, very good play of the enemy player there. All right, Braham is going to come back here. Let's see what he does. He's going to try and uh, and drop back here, I think. Yep, he does. He wants to get his loot back, which is uh, fine. But also, again, brother, you have 17,000 gold. Like, you don't have to drop on your body. Like, you can literally go somewhere and buy weapons and then come and get your revenge. You know, revenge. So, yeah. He is going to get his uh, weapons back. And that enemy is still there, the Nova. He got spotted out and they're going to fight again. Round two. All right, they are sliding. They are schmoving. Uh, Braham has a Scar and a Deagle, so he's gonna try to push up, get some of that shots off. Okay, you guys see that? Like, let this this kind of like trail over here. The enemy literally just threw a nade at Braham, and Braham is standing still and shooting at the enemy. Literally, if you would have pushed a little bit more forward, you would kill this guy right there. Let's let, let's have a, another rewind of that. You're gonna like go out shoot stand still and while you're standing still he threw a nade at you and if you would have moved forward and then you wouldn't have gotten hit by the nade and i think you actually win that 1v1 so yeah be very careful with that like as soon as you saw the grenade you should have slided forward and, and pushed even harder you know all right the teammate bram teammate does get the finish on that guy so that is very very good news um that guy does die and Braham is back. He's gonna parachute back in. But also, you can see that the save zone is closing in. So, I don't think it's a good idea to drop back here. This is gonna be uh, a little bit tricky. 
at this point, like, you pass the vending machine, you can buy a weapon, bro. Okay, there is a... Here's a zone coming, and the zone at this point of the game kind of hurts, bro. Like, you can see it's stinging right there, and all he has is a, uh, a medipack, so... I don't know if he's gonna make it. I actually don't know if, he, if he's gonna make it. That's gonna be a very, very close call. Even if he pops this off, like, look how far the zone is. And uh, that is a very, very late rotation, which can definitely get you killed. Yeah, this is gonna be very close. Either he gets knocked, or he's gonna survive with 1 HP. Yeah, he's gonna survive with 1 HP, damn. Okay. Right here. Brother, you are shooting at someone, but look at how you're standing, bro. Like, this is super, super dangerous. Even if that guy didn't shoot you and you can get the kill off on that guy, like, there is still other people that are on the high ground and you are so, so vulnerable to them. Like, anyone standing on top with an AK, a SCAR, or a CAG, a sniper, like, you will get shot at and you will die. I don't know if he does, but, like, this is super, super dangerous. Like, he is super back out on the road. Uh, he does get the kill, though. He's gonna get the finish. Even the guy that he killed, he could have turned on him, but that guy was a potato. Like, a good player can turn on you and, like, would literally kill you. Alright, he's gonna throw a nade on top. I don't know if that's gonna hit anyone, but that's okay. He's moving around, moving around. He's got a shiny. Uh, someone is in this building. He hits one shot. He hits... Oh, he hits the wall three times. Oh! Okay, he got the kill. Oh my god, that got me a little bit nervous, though. Not gonna lie to you, but he does get the kill. You know, MP155 in action. There's another guy just standing still right there, just creeping up on him. Watching all of the action happen. And now there's another Ethan over here. Um, that Ethan is gonna go up on the stairs, and he wants to go outside. He got stuck by the knocked Ethan by some other random guy that is standing, like, outside. And that is super unlucky. Not gonna lie. He actually got stuck, said brother. But, uh, it's okay. To be honest, I think you could have stayed under, like, under on the low ground and just move. But, um, that is hard to say, because, like, you, you couldn't... I think you could have killed the Nova, finish off the Nova. You killed uh, the Ethan, and the other Ethan that went on top, I wouldn't have chased him. I, I would have just like moved on and uh, tried to stabilize. Like you could tell that Braham kind of panicked there, you know, uh, making a bad decision of uh, like going outside of the window. But then again, no one could have known that that Emma was like waiting there with an SMG, so it is unlucky. We have his last teammate uh, alive over here. Okay, one of his other teammates is coming back in 7 seconds. Oh no, oh no. And it's over. Alright, so the takeaway from this game is mostly that... One, please do me a favor. I will be very proud of you, but please, please. Buy custom weapons, okay. Second point is, again, watch your positioning when you engage on fights. Be very, very mindful of it because it's a... You know, it, it, it is... It, Second point is that you have to be really, really mindful when you shoot at people as to where you position. Am I standing in the open? Am I standing close to wall? Am I standing close to cover? Can I retreat properly if I'm getting like third party? Those are the kind of questions that you need to ask yourself before you actually shoot you someone. Okay, um, so be very, very careful about that. And um, honestly, brother, in this game, I think your aim, you know, is pretty decent. Um, it could be better. But I do have in mind that you are not using aim assist, okay? I hope you don't think this is the wrong way. But I would actually suggest using aim assist, mastering other elements of the games first, and then turning it off, okay? You have to take things step by step. You know, Rome was not built in one day. Like, first, you know, work on your movement. Work on the weapons you like. Work on your like general kind of like game sense, and then if you feel really really comfortable and you, you know you want to give it a try without aim assist, then go for that. But I do feel like you have a lot of things to improve in regards to game sense, positioning, um, awareness of like what is happening around you, and um, yeah, man, those are the tips that I have for you. I hope it helps you out, and uh, I hope it helps out other people that are watching this video. Honestly, like uh, if you guys want me to do more like you know coaching sessions or tips and tricks videos please let me know in the comments down below coach lights over and out